Tonight on the Maritime Beer Report, I've got some news on a couple of new beers, some beers that are returning, some home brew offs, some cider news, and some brewery news from New Brunswick. Hello, I hope everyone is well on this Friday the 13th edition of the Maritime Beer Report. Bulwark Ciders are releasing the Bulwark Hop Cider in bottles. It was made from their trademark apple blend, which is Russet, Honeycrisp, Mac, and a few others. And in post-fermentation, they ferment this to dry, unlike the original, which is leave a bit sweeter. They dry hop with Cascade and Comet. The hops impart a very citrusy character to the cider, almost grapefruit-like. Bottles are going to be going out to the NSLC on Tuesday and hitting select stores. It's a 7% ABV cider and will be in 500 ml bottles. This is the same cider that's been on draft for almost two months around the province. Garrison Brewing has released details on its 2016 home brew off. In order to give them some basic structure and to make judging easier, they've defined the style as American IPA, that's the BJCP 21A, uh, with an experimental feature. This means that the uh, IBUs, the ABV, color, and flavor will all need to fit within the guidelines for the American IPA. Exper experimentation can come from the addition of herbs, fruit, tea, whatever you think. But that must be clearly stated on your entry form. Still lots of room to play here, they say, and this, with the standardized beer base will make the experimentation aspect stand out even more. Samples must be received by Garrison by February 11th, and the award ceremony will be on March 3rd. In other news from Garrison, the first bombers of the Martello Stout of the season are hitting the market this week, and should be around until the end of the winter. It's been bumped up to 5% ABV, and the oatmeal component has been increased. And they also released their flagship Irish Red, which was their very first beer, if you're ever in a trivia contest, in quartz. And they'll be around for the next couple months at NSLC stores. Propeller Brewing's newest one-hit wonder has hit the taps. Sales and marketing manager Andrew Cooper says this unfiltered IPA exudes the West Coast character with an aggressive pine and citrus aroma. It displays a golden orangish color and is a creamy white head. Weighing in at 6.8% ABV, down east, west, north, or sorry, down East Northwest IPA is dominated by a big hop flavors and a predominant yet balanced bitterness and a touch of sweetness. It's available now for growler fills at both propeller shops on Goddard Street in Halifax and Windmill Road in Dartmouth while it lasts. Just in time for Remembrance Day, Distillery Fees de Roy released a, a new barley wine called North Shore NB Regiment. This is an homage to the infantry battalion based in northern New Brunswick that can trace its origins back to 1870. The brewery describes the ale as a showcase of malty richness and complex intense flavors, chewy and rich in body with warming alcohol and pleasant fruity or hoppy interest. When aged it can take on port like flavors, a wintertime sipper. It clocks in at 12% ABV and 45 IBUs. It's currently available at the ANBL stores in New Brunswick and Northwest New Brunswick, as well as at the brewery, and look for it in other parts of the province soon. Hammond River Brewing announced its home brew off. Their beer category is 9E, which is the Strong Scotch Ale or the Wee Heavy. Entries must consist of two 12 or 16 ounce bottles with no identifiable features or marks. Brewers are limited to two entries, each with the registration fee of $10. Entries must be received by January 15th, and judging will take place on January 17th. Maybe Brewing's first batch of Roseway Red and Workhorse IPA will be made with New Brunswick hops thanks to Southern Farms. They delivered a truckload of hop pellets to Maybe to use in their first brews. James Joyce Pub says, the next Meet Your Makers event will feature Picaroons. The Picaroons traditional ale, ale crew will be in the house on November 26th. Trailway, Trailway Brewing announced the, their new home. It's going to be at 280 Main Street, uh, the old Canadian Tire Building on Fredericton's north side. I'll get more details as they get passed to me. 
Lastly, I got to join Big Spruce Brewing Ladies Beer League and box at Boxing Rock in Shelburne today to work on a very special beer. It's going to be called Triskai Decaphobia, and it's going to be an Imperial Brown Ale weighing in at 9% ABV. Look forward to hit the taps and shelves around Christmas time. Thanks for checking out the blog again this week, and until next time, enjoy responsibly.